All right, so we're still letting people in. And without further ado, we wanna go ahead and get this call started. But I wanna say welcome to everyone and thank you again for getting in, plugging in and staying in. Make sure your team gets plugged in, guys. We are finding that there are a lot of people that are joining. And as you can see, we're growing rapidly. And the thing about it is there's a lot of people that are just being, uh, they're just being, you know, they're plugging them in, but not plugging them in, should I say. They're plugging them into their system, but they're not plugging them into the entire system, which is our, our training calls. So I would like to just mention, we have several uh, conference calls every, um, every week, okay? Every Saturday, we have this standing training call, and it happens 12 p.m. Eastern time. We also have the corporate calls. If you miss out on those corporate calls, guys, you're missing out really on our, everything that's going on here. You want to be plugged in yourself. You don't want to depend on your sponsor to tell you what's going on in the company. Like right now, we had a fire starter call that was phenomenal yesterday. Um, we had the uh, pleasure to bring one of the trainers that spoke on that fire starter call that speaks on there every every Friday and she's going to speak to us and I'm going to bring her up next but I want you guys to know that you need to stay plugged in and um, no one should have to have to tell you about these calls you can find these calls on your back your virtual back office so when you plug into your system you know put your username you go log in to uh, livegood.com slash whatever your username is or just livegood.com and then just put your username and your password. That will get you into your virtual, I call it the virtual back office. This is where you're tracking, where you can see everything. You can purchase your products back there. You can see all the webinars that corporate is offering. Uh, we do have in-between uh, conference calls. I know Kelly and Jesse does a phenomenal job on an opportunity call, and that happens on Wednesday. I believe it's Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, Kelly, you can correct me um, Wednesday, I think it is. But other than the corporate calls, we do have uh, other people that, that are doing calls. So you are definitely invited to get in those calls as well. But for the standing corporate calls, they will be found in the webinar section in your virtual back office. So please, please make sure your teams know this. So um, I know when I enroll people, I personally walk people through their back office and I go over all of those tabs. That's just me personally, because I always want everybody to know what they have their hands on so that it, even if they're not even wanting to do the business or if they don't want to, you know, they just don't want to get involved because really all my customers, I actually plug in as affiliates because I think that everybody should be an affiliate. It's only a one-time $40 cost. Um, even if they don't desire to be a gold or a platinum or a diamond, it doesn't matter. I think everybody should pay that one-time setup fee of $40 uh, just to be an affiliate and to be plugged into the matrix so that they can also earn as they are buying products in this company. That's just me personally. So I literally take everybody through their back office and I walk them through those tabs. That's me, what I do. Um, but again, one of the tabs that I really hone in on is the webinars because I want everybody to go in and plug into those uh, calls because they're very vital to your business you know, or vital just to knowing that there's a new product that just dropped, you know, that's in the back office. So um, what else I wanted to make sure? The coupon that just dropped, guys. If you don't know about the coupon because you missed the call, uh, that's a $5 uh, coupon now. They can uh, actually subtract that out off of their product, any product um, that they're buying. $5 will be subtracted if they use the coupon. But the link you have to use is the corporate link, which is the livegood.com slash your username. Make sure you slash username, put your username. So it's livegood.com slash your username so that you get the credit um, and they also are buying the product from you. And then they can get that $5 product. Um, and I thought that was phenomenal, guys. We did that in the beginning. Um, I don't know if you were in here at the very, very beginning, but I was here at the very, very beginning. And that was one of the things that we did. We gave away those $5 coupons and they work like a charm. So that way you can also get people to try in the products. All right. Without further ado, I want to get, uh, we have still a lot of people joining us and that's great guys. You are uh, sending out those texts to your uh, team members. But without further ado, I do not want to waste her time or anybody's time on this call for that matter. 
So I'm going to get out the way. And if I miss anything, Miss uh, Trisha Costa is our speaker for the day. She brings guys to the table a lot of her uh, her experiences. She is one of my newest, my first diamond in my organization. And I am just so proud of her because I know the work behind the scenes that she's uh, put in. So again, sometimes people look at people's success and all they see is just, just the success. But you really didn't get to see the pain and the, you know, all of what she'd been through just to get to the other side and the other side of that pain and the just being the fearless leader that she is, she was able to overcome so many of those obstacles and never look back, never quivered, never once said, oh my God, my team is falling apart and I just ain't gonna be able to do this, this. You know what? She kept going and she was really a great example, even for myself, and for so many others, uh, because we are all human beings. We all have feelings. We all feel a certain type of way. But at some point, it doesn't matter what you're feeling. We can't ever excuse your feelings. But sometimes your feelings are not necessarily right. So what I'm going to say is Trish definitely ignored some of those obstacles and overcame. And here she is our first diamond in my organization. So she's first. She may not be first in the company, but she's first in our organization. So I want to say shout out to Trish once again. I'm so super proud of you. And I just hope that each of you have your pen and pad because she definitely is going to give you something that you never had. And she's always bringing something, you know, one of, you know some of her, her great experiences from the past uh, into now uh, the present. So I want to say, Welcome once again and bring Trish back to the forefront of our, on our Saturday training. Thank you, Trish, for coming and saying yes today. Thank you, Des. You know, I love you. I'm so glad that I am working with you on this amazing journey. And you did a great job here going over all the, the notes and everything that people need to know with the coupon. A lot of people were reaching out to me yesterday saying, but how do I get the coupon? I'm like, just go to your website and you're going to see it right there. It's ready to go. Everything they do here is easy and good. So thanks for inviting me again to the call. It's always a pleasure. I'm honored to share with you guys. I have had so many experiences in this industry. And it's it's funny when Dad says, you know, she went through the pain. I mean, I, I literally got a lawsuit in a company that I was in in 2017 because I was accused of cross-recruiting. I had not even joined a new company yet. So how could I cross recruit into the new company when I had I was just looking. I was just looking and they sent me a, a cease and desist lawsuit. So I really have been through the, the good, the bad, the ugly of the industry, but that led me here. And I really believe that God has a plan and maybe I didn't get to this 10 years ago. Well, it wasn't around number one, but number two, maybe I wouldn't have been ready uh, to to be able to hit diamond and to be able to lead and help other people to achieve their goals. So I really believe that God has a plan for every single one of us, and we just need to have faith in that and never give up. So I never prepare guys for trainings. You know, I show up on that Friday call. I never know what the heck I'm going to talk about. I just get inspired as I start talking and whatever's in my mind, in my heart, uh, I, it's what I talk about, you know, I was just telling my husband, I'm like, once again, I have no idea what I'm sharing today, but that's just how I roll. That's how I operate. Um, my husband and I are total opposites. You know, he's a physician. So everything with him is very well organized and prepared and he's very analytical and I'm completely insane. I just go with the flow and I just say what comes to mind, but what's coming to my mind right now is this number one, do not complicate things. Network marketing is so simple, but I think because as humans, we are used to complications where we just believe that, you know, to make money, to do well, you have to be really smart and you have to study a lot. And that's what we've learned in our society and everything is complicated. So when we see how simple it is, you know, just calling somebody and saying, Hey, have you heard of live good? No. You have a Costco membership. It's just like a Costco membership, but it's better. It's all about your health and wellness. We can't do it. Like we're, we're like frozen. And a lot, many of us, 
uh, thankfully I am not analytical, but I think a lot of people that are analytical, it's a, a personality type, just like my husband, uh, you just go into preparation mode when you go into a business like this. You would do amazing as a nurse or maybe as a physician, an attorney, an accountant, but then you go into something simple like this and you just get paralyzed. You're like, I just, uh, let me prepare to, to get prepared, to get started. And they say it's paralysis by analysis, right? So don't overcomplicate things. Don't overthink it. Uh, don't be worried about no's because if you are analytical, you're obviously by nature not a salesperson. And so you're afraid of the no's. I, I love no's because the more no's I get, the closer I am to my first yes or my second yes. So I thrive with the no's. I'm like, yes, another no. I'm a realtor. Guess how I became a top real estate agent. I love calling for sale by owners and I enjoy when they yell at me and they hang up on me. I'm like, the next one is going to list a house with me, right? So I'm always, I, I take the no's as the excitement of I'm getting closer to the next yes. So I'm not attached to the outcome. If you are attached to the outcome, if you need every person that you call to say yes to you, if you need every person that you call to join your team, you are going to be paralyzed. It'll be paralysis by analysis because you're just going to keep thinking, no, what if they say no? And then that fear grows and grows and grows. The next thing would be what you focus on grows. So that's number two, just came up with number two, what, what you focus on grows. So you're focusing on fear, your fear of rejection. If somebody says, no, what if that person quits my team? What if I don't get to silver by the end of the month? What if, and one thing I, I uh, thought my 17 year old is I have one, one child, one boy. And let me tell you, I'm so glad I decided to have one child. It's a lot. If you're going to raise a child, right? One child is a lot. Um, in every area. But since he was little, I, I used to tell him if he would come in and say, mom, what if, and the what if was negative, it was literally like, leave my office. I, I don't talk to people that say what if followed by a negative statement. When you come back with what if positive, then I'm ready to talk to you. And he would look at me like, what? I'm like, I'm serious. You can leave now. Just think about it. Come back in a few minutes and say, what if now have a positive statement behind what if so it was usually like what if I fail my math test so then he would come back and he's like mom what if I close the year with straight A's I'm like now let's talk what do you need with your math let's take a look so don't beat your worst enemy because that's what we do what if it doesn't work what if this person quits what if they say no what if my whole life is a complete disaster but what if this is going to be your year what if 2024 is the best year yet? What if 2024 is the year that you hit all your dreams and all your goals? So really pay attention to your self-talk because guess what? Des was talking about feelings and that's going to be my number three. Keep your feelings out of your business. Leave your feelings to your family, to your boyfriend, to your cousins, to whoever you love your kids, your, your, your husband, your wife. So leave feelings to your personal life and leave the numbers to your business. Business is all numbers. Of course, feelings will come in. For example, Desiree became a very dear friend of mine. So I have feelings towards her and she could hurt my feelings on the personal side. She could never hurt my feelings on the business side. Like if she said to me, Trish, I'm just going to have to be honest with you here. You know, you did this wrong. You know, I didn't appreciate that you said this on the call. I'm totally good with that. That doesn't hurt my feelings because it's business. And I, I know I, there's certain things that we need. Here. Let me just mute this guy. Uh, I'm going to kick Michael out because I keep muting him and he unmutes himself. So let me remove him here and please don't let him back in. Um, okay. Cause no matter how many times we meet him, he's un unmuting himself and we're not going to go anywhere with our training here. So again, I'm not wanting to hurt Michael's feelings. I'm sure he's a great guy, but when it's business, you got to keep it to business. You got to be strong. You got to be direct. You have to be assertive. 
in your personal life, like in my personal life, I tend to be a different person. I'm way more passive. Ask my 17 year old. I can be a pushover. But when it comes to business, and, some, and my husband, same thing, you know, he comes to me, I say no, he goes to my husband, he says yes, vice versa, like we tend to be pushovers. But when it comes to business, guys, you've got to be direct, you got to be assertive, you have to tell people what he, he or she needs to hear, and not what they want to hear. You're doing people a favor. When you tell them what they need to hear, when you say, listen, you're not going anywhere or doing your business the way you're doing. Snap out of it. Let's move forward here. And you got to realize that all your feelings are created by you and your thoughts. You are the only person who controls your feelings because you control your thoughts. So if you get up in the morning and you're feeling sorry for yourself, like, oh, nobody's joining. I live in an area where, you know, people don't like network marketing. Everybody I talk to thinks it's a pyramid. If those are your thoughts, how do you think you're going to feel to do your business that day? I mean, you'll be moping around. I can't even imagine getting up in the morning and telling myself, oh, nobody likes my business. You know, poor me. I couldn't do it. No, you know what I do? I get up in the morning and let's move on to the next item on the list. I don't even know what number I'm on. I like to have numbers for some reason. So I think this is number four. Miracle morning routine. Get up in the morning, wait for my husband to leave the house and my son, he is here. He's like, what do you do when I leave? He knows. They leave. I turn the music on, music that I like. I dance with my dog. Then I do my visualization. <laughs> my husband's laughing. I don't know how he married me. We're so different. Like, come on, the guy's a physician. I'm a network marketer, realtor, salesperson. Uh, yeah, I make his life uh, a lot of fun. But, you know, so I dance in the kitchen with my dog. We have so much fun. I have the music blasting. I pick up after breakfast items. And then I do my visualization. I have my dream board. And I got to tell you guys, I've been doing dream boards since 2010. And everything on every dream board has become a reality for me. Everything from big things to little things, you know, like my dog was on my vision board. Um, every trip I've ever been on was on my vision board. Um, every luxury vehicle I've ever purchased was on my dream board. Uh, every condo I have here in Mexico, I'm actually in Mexico right now. Maybe at the end, I'll show you guys this beach is like a dream. But every condo, everything I've ever had, everything I've ever done, everything I've ever accomplished has been on my dream boards. As they begin to happen, I replace with new items, okay? Then I read my affirmations. So I'm not saying oh, nobody likes this business. Everybody thinks it's a pyramid scheme. Um, you know, just feeling sorry for myself today. Like I can never accomplish my dreams. No, I get up in the morning and I start reading my affirmations and I do it guys with intention. So I do it while I'm walking around in my office. I, I'm full of energy. I walk, I walk in circles. I, I, I have this little bench in my, in my closet and I just go in there, I turn the lights on early in the morning and I start reading my affirmations with like, like if they have already happened, right? So I, I read things like I'm healthy, I'm confident, I'm creative, I'm fit, I'm disciplined, I'm organized, I'm attractive, I'm focused, I'm valuable, I'm well-liked, I'm fun to be around. The right people are in my future. I'm accomplishing all my dreams. What do you think it's going to happen when I make a phone call now? And I'm like, hey, have you already heard of Live Good? Do you see the difference? Your posture changes when you're telling yourself good things. You're feeling good. You know, I'm unbreakable. I, that, those are the things I'm telling, me, telling myself in the morning. I'm unstoppable. I love my life. I'm very grateful for Live Good. I'm quickly building groups of 12 and helping others do the same. Like, those are the things I'm telling myself. I'm I'm a live good crown diamond by whatever date. I can do anything. So start doing visualization, affirmations, meditation. Meditation is everything. Do meditation while focusing on a goal for the week, for the month, for the quarter. It can be anything. Maybe it's a something personal. So every morning, do your meditation. Then I read because guess what? You have to work on yourself. If you, if you want things to get better, you have to get better. 
That's from Jim Rohn. You've got to do that. So that's next thing on the list. Is it number five? It may be number five. If you guys are taking notes, <laughs> you'll know better than I do. I'm never organized. I, it's just, uh, it just comes out. So yeah, I think that's number five. So number five is for things to get better, you have to get better. So work on yourself daily. I work on myself daily. So every morning I'm reading. Uh, I have on Audible. If you guys don't have Audible, you got to get Audible. Uh, and you don't have to pay every month. Like I paid for a little while. I got some books on there and then I, I stopped paying. So right now I'm reading uh, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. And that's probably the third, fourth time I read this book. I'm also reading Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. I'm also reading Six Months to Six Figures. And here are some of the ones I just, uh, I, I always read three at a time because I have ADD, ADHD, like my brain's all over the place. I get really bored with the same book every single day. So I go back and forth. So every third day <laughs> I listen to another one. I'm completely insane, but you guys can just, you know, read one at a time if you're normal. Um, then I'm, I also just finished Relentless by uh, Tim Grover, Tim S. Grover, incredible book, Relentless. I'm the cleaner in the book. I'm the cleaner. Um, what else did I just read? The Six Habits of Growth. Here's a great book for somebody who's not used to reading and they want to start out with something simple. Max Out Your Life by Ed Milet. Milet is M-Y-L-E-T-T. -T, Ed Milet. Max Out Your Life. This book is so fantastic. He talks about the fact that when you die one day, you're going to meet God and God's going to say, I want you to meet you. I want you to meet yourself. This is the max out version of yourself. This is who you could have been if you did what you were supposed to do. If you used all the talents that I gave you, this would have been you and this would have been your life. But instead, you chose to have negative thoughts. You chose to feel sorry for yourself. And this is how you ended up. So this book is a great wake up call. It's a super quick book. Um, I think you can read this book. Let's see. I think this one is an hour. Hashtag max out. It's only an hour. Strategies for becoming an elite performer. Oh, how do I turn this off now? This program was um, recorded and directed by. So it's just one hour and like five minutes or something. You can read this this whole book, you know, on Audible. Anyway, so I used to read, you know, paper books, but <laughs> just. I moved uh, to Audible and that works really well for me. So guys, having the miracle morning routine. So I read and that's when I write. That's when I have ideas of how am I going to do my business this week? What kind of videos am I, what, what can I talk about on a live? Uh, you know, what post am I writing this morning? That's when I write my posts. That's when I do all of these things first thing in the morning. So I work on myself because you cannot do better in a business. You cannot make more money. If you are not becoming better, if you're not working on yourself, so you have to do that. Next thing is don't allow, is that number six? It may be number six. Don't allow anything or anyone to get in your way. Do not allow other people's opinions, other people's decisions to influence you, to change your mind, to change your decision and your opinion. This is probably the most important thing, you guys, because these are the obstacles, people's opinions, people's decisions. Those are the biggest obstacles that you're going to encounter in anything that you do. It can be a relationship. You know, your mom doesn't like your your boyfriend, whatever it may be. Other people's opinions don't matter. You got to form your own opinions of things and make your own decisions and never, ever, ever change that. Because when you do, you're going to follow everybody else. And that's when you quit. That's when you don't join. That's when you don't do it. I can tell you when I joined Miriam International back in 2012, I don't know if I have ever shared this uh, story with you guys, but in 2012, I joined Miriam International. My first day, I reached out to 40 people. 39 said no to me. My best friend Sherry hung up, hung up on me and said I was an idiot. Are you have you lost your mind? You're going to spend a thousand dollars on a skin cream. Joe is going to be so mad when he finds out. You're crazy. Don't never call me again about this. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. 
That's the conversation I had with my best friend, my first day in Ethereum. After that, the next 38 went in a similar way. Okay. So most people would have done what? Yeah, not a good idea. I'm not doing this. Joe's going to get mad. Whatever. Right. I, if I, if I heard what they said to me, I don't hear what people say to me. I only hear what I say to myself. I hear myself out, my opinion. I was like, you know what? That's too bad. I love these people, but they're making the wrong decision. I'm making the right one. I feel so bad for them that they didn't see it, but I did. I see it. And I, st I stayed with it. And guys, when you are a leader, when you have belief, when you believe in yourself, you believe in the company, you believe in what you're doing here. When you have that belief, you create belief for other people. And later they thank you. They go, hey, thank you. Thank you for having the belief that I didn't have. So for the next 24 months, 32 out of the 39 that had said no to me joined my team. Now, what would I, what would have happened if I quit? I could have quit, right? Most people would have after having that many no's, after having that many people talking down to me like I'm an idiot, worst idea ever. I didn't quit. I stayed with it. I, I had belief. And I created that belief for all the people that said no. As a matter of fact, my friend Sherry Johnson went on to become number two slash number three income earner on my team. It was always between her and Nancy Horde. And those two, so Sherry didn't come in uh, until the fourth month that I was in business. And Nancy came in the ninth month. They were both on my list on that first day. So when people are saying no to you, remember that. That's their problem, not yours. You made the decision that you're going to be and live good, that you're going to succeed and live good. Are the people saying no to you, paying your bills? Are these people that are telling you that you're an idiot for doing live good? Are the people that are calling you to go do something else and get distracted? Are they paying your bills? Are they responsible for your kid going to college or buying your, your beach condo, whatever dreams you have in life? It's up to you. If it is to be, it's up to me. I make those decisions. So I love Sherry. I told myself that day, I said, you know what? If Sherry doesn't see it, that's too bad. I do. Maybe one day she will. And she did. So have that kind of belief. Same thing when people are leaving your team. And by the way, I went on to become a seven-figure income earner in Ethereum International. I was top 15. I was taken to Hawaii with the top 15 income earners in first class. I had a limo pick me up. I was there for the mastermind. That's the kind of stuff I want to do here in Live Good eventually as we grow. And can you imagine if I would have allowed the opinions of those 39 people to change my outcome? I don't allow anybody to change my outcome, only myself. If I make a mistake, it's on me. It's not going to be because somebody influenced me to make a bad decision. Nobody influences me on anything. There's one thing I have is a, my own mindset, my own ideas. And that's what I recommend for you. Make the decision that today is the first day that you're changing everything about your mindset. You're not going to allow anyone to ever say anything to you that's going to influence you. You make your own decisions. You, you know where you are, you know where you're going, and you know how you're going to get there because you know how to get plugged in with Live Good. Get plugged in. We'll, we'll take you there. We will take you there between the leadership with Des and, and Tim and Kelly and, and Jesse. We will take you where you want to go here. So once you're in, now people quit, right? And Live Good, my journey to, to Diamond, I talked about this last time I did this training, so I'll keep it brief on that, even though we probably have some new people here. But I had three Platinums that quit on me. People that came in and recruited several hundred people hit Platinum in about four to five weeks. Three of those quit my team, they got distracted. They went to sell a weight loss pill that did not work. <laughs> the pill didn't work, you guys. Then they went to find a regular job because the pill, the weight loss pill didn't work. And now they're selling another miracle weight loss pill. One of them came back to me and said, you know what? Thank you for your belief. I'm ready to come back. So you have to have the belief to stay in so that people eventually will join. We also need to have the belief to stay in when people are leaving so that they can come back to you later. So when you stand the test of time here, when you stay for 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, 
not only people that said no initially, they begin to watch you and they're like, oh, wow, she is doing well at it. I didn't think she was going to. I really hoped she wasn't, but she won't let go. I'm going to have to join her. And that's how they operate. And then they join you. And then the people that left, they go, man, oh, man, I didn't think she was going to hit diamond. I was really hoping she wouldn't hit diamond so I could prove my point. And that's why I left. I wanted to prove my point that live good was no good. This woman is a nightmare. She had to hit diamond to prove me wrong. And now I'm going to prove everybody wrong because I'm going to ground diamond. And I'm actually, you guys, write this down. I'm going to double. I'm going to be the first double diamond in the company because I'm taking my second account that has my son's name on it. I'm taking that account to diamond by June 30th. I'm so grateful that I'm a double diamond by June 30th is one of my affirmations every morning. I'm so thankful and grateful that I'm, I'm the first double diamond in Live Good by June 30th. How exciting is that? And then I'm going to go to triple diamond because I'm taking my husband to diamond as well. And then my son's account is the most likely to get to crown diamond. So I'm going to prove them all wrong. All the people that left and they said, Live Good's not going anywhere. Trisha's going to quit within the next six months. I want to call them and say, I'm a, a triple. I'm the first triple diamond in the company. Prove them wrong. Then on the top of that, you have the people that are watching. They, you have the people that are watching. I have this guy in India. Didn't know who he was. He calls me. He goes, I've been watching you for a whole year. It's been a year since I've been watching you. I want to join. I've been watching everybody. I think you're the, the best fit for what I do because you're very uh, international. You know, I'm Brazilian. I speak Spanish. I speak Portuguese. And he's from India. So he's like, out of all the leaders, you are the least like all American girl kind of thing. And that's what I want for my, my ladies in India. Even though I don't speak Hindi, you know, out of the leaders, he's like, you're, you're the one that I, I feel like I, I can, you know, work with. Just think about that. What if I quit? This guy wouldn't be working with me now. He's probably going to have a million people in India in his team eventually because he is, I mean, he's done it before. He's one of the top network marketers in the country there. What if I quit? This guy wouldn't be calling me right now. Last thing, you guys, would he be calling me if I was distracted promoting different things online? No, my good friend, Sharon, Sharon had already joined last year, okay? Before I joined, she joined last January. So over a year ago, she joined and just kept kind of quiet watching what was going on. All of a sudden, Sharon reaches out to me. I've been watching you. I'm going to cancel the account I had initially because my sponsor is trying to promote another company to me. <laughs> you guys. Literally, like, do you want to destroy your own organization? Go try to recruit your own people to your next gig. That is insanity. Like, if you know anybody that is doing that, just go tell them, you're dumb. You're dumb. I mean, how do you destroy your own business? You can't. Can you imagine if I, I've built this, it's so hard, right? It's not easy. You, you gotta, you gotta keep at it. Like you gotta get up in the morning. You gotta walk in circles in your closet. And, and then you just decide, I'm going to just destroy my own organization. I, I'm just going to go promote something else. Cause guess what? We all have a certain amount of people that know, like, and trust us. Those are the people that do business with us. And we only have a certain amount. It may be 10,000. It, it may be 10. When you move from one thing to the next to the next, who do you think is going with you? The same people. It's the same people. You're just moving them around. And how do you think you're going to be more successful? Having 10 people in each one of your gigs or having 100 in the same gig? Have 100. Have you seen any diamond in Live Good who is promoting different businesses? Not going to happen, you guys. Is Tim Miller? Promoting something else? No, he's focused. He's focused on the focus. That's what he tells us, right? Kelly, Kelly Tolar. Do you see Kelly promoting other stuff? No, obsessed with Live Good. Jesse, is Jesse promoting something else? No. You do not see the big leaders, Josh and Britt. 
Are they promote? You don't. I'm telling you guys, there's not one diamond in this company promoting different things. Okay. So it, it, because this is what happens when you promote different things, not only you're taking your own people from one thing to the next, you're just moving, shifting people around, which is horrendous because you're also taking advantage of your people. You're hurting them while you're doing that. I, I That just breaks my heart when I see that happening. So not only you are hurting people, shifting them around, but you're also giving a bad look to the world out there about you. Like this guy in India, my friend, Sharon, my friend, Sharon reached out. She goes, Trisha, I want to join with you. But before I do, I need to ask you, are you all in? Because I do not want to join with somebody that I need to be afraid of 90 days from now, because now I'm exposing my contacts to you and I don't need you then promoting something else online and taking my people somewhere else. So when you promote different things, you become a dangerous person. Nobody wants to work with you because nobody wants to expose the people that like and trust them to you. They don't trust you. You're dangerous. So nobody wants to work with you. So that's number one. That's the number one reason why you don't go online promoting different things because it's a really bad look. Number three on that is inside of that, that little conversation we're having here, right? The, the last part of our conversation is the fact that you look like you're not making money and you're not succeeding and nobody wants to work with people who are not successful. Because guess what? When you are successful, Tim Miller making seven figures a year, why in the world would he go do something else? So it's a proven fact that if you are making a lot of money and you're very successful, you're not going to promote something else. It's not multiple streams of income. Multiple streams of income is when Tim Miller makes a million dollars a year and then he calls me and he goes, hey, do you want to invest some money in a startup company? Hey, let's buy a condo together. Let's flip it and sell it and share the profit. That's multiple streams of income. Having 20 links for different network marketing companies or affiliate programs, that is not multiple streams of income. That is, I'm not making enough money, I'm desperate, and I have to share as many links as possible to make a buck or two to pay my bills. But that is not attractive. Do you think Sharon would have joined with me if I was promoting different links? No, she left the person she was with back in January last year because that person is doing that and that did not go well with her. So nobody wants to work with you when you are promoting different things. I know I said that was the last thing. I have one last thing and then I, I promise I'll be done here. The last thing is, do you need to buy tools to do your business? That's a big topic. Please do not buy tools. You guys, I am the living proof that you do not you do not need tools. You're not going to succeed with tools. You're going to get distracted because all the tools are also affiliate programs. So now you have another business on the side. Now you're trying to promote the tool to your business, to your, your peeps. Remember, you always have the same number of people that are going to follow you and do business with you. They know, they like, they trust you. Now you're getting distracted with a tool. That's a separate business. So now no matter what, you're doing a secondary business. So it looks like you're not making enough money in Live Good. So it doesn't look good. Now you're getting your own team distracted, trying to learn something new. All these tools, every single one of them without exceptions, all they are are landing pages. I would love for somebody to explain to me outside of you having another form of income because you're not making enough money and live good, how is it that any tool is going to work better than the landing page that we already have that it's free? You guys, it's free. Tools are a nightmare. I know, you know why? Because I bought uh, ClickFunnels, I think back then, like over 10 years ago, it was like $500 a month to have click funnels. At least the prices have gone down tremendously. I created these funnels, okay? This is, I think, probably 12, 13 years ago. And I'm like, I did. They told me to do a split page. 
these are not simple, okay? Because that's one thing you need to understand. When you buy these tools, they are not simple. You have to learn how to put it together, how to create the landing page. Then you got to connect it to the email marketing system. None of this is simple. None of this is cheap. And the whole magic with Live Good is the fact that you only pay a one-time fee of 40 bucks and $9 a month. That's the magic. That's the that's why LiveGood's a sexy company. It's amazing, you guys. But that's why. But if I give you LiveGood and then I say, well, but for you to be successful, you got to spend hundreds of dollars here with these tools. It doesn't work well. It's just not going to go anywhere, you guys. You're going to destroy your LiveGood team if you're trying to sell them anything. Don't, don't sell stuff to your team. Don't sell them anything. Everything they need is right here for free on a Saturday. It's, uh, it's free on Fridays. It's free on Mondays. It's free on Thursdays. Everything you need is available. Go to the leaders pages on Facebook. We're always doing lives and doing trainings. Like everything you need is free. And Live Good is the first company I've ever been with that offers me free landing pages. We have several landing pages. We have the livegoodtour.com slash username. Then we have a genius follow-up with securemyposition.com. That's another free follow-up landing page. Then we have the landing page for the super reds. We have the landing page for the super greens. Why would you buy another landing page? It's complete nonsense, okay? If you buy more, and there's so many people selling different landing pages. I already looked at about 10 different companies that have landing pages. They are all going to cost you hundreds of dollars. But here is the tricky part. Let me go back to ClickFunnels. Remember, I was saying I created the landing page. And I'm sitting there going, why is nobody clicking on my landing page? You guys should have seen me. Like, this is 13 years ago. Like, just literally staring at my landing pages. I'm like, how do I know if somebody clicked on my landing page? They didn't have a phone that I could call. So, but there was a chat. So I sent a chat. I'm like, excuse me, somebody help me. I created two landing pages. I did the A and B test and it's not working. Nobody's clicking. And she goes, oh, how are you promoting it? I'm like, what do you mean? So guys, landing pages don't do anything for you. A landing page that you buy for hundreds of dollars will do the exact same thing as your live good, live good tour. You have to get people to them. So then when you buy these things, they tell you that now you have to buy traffic. Now you got to buy your leads. It is a nightmare to say the least. Okay. So I don't recommend any of these things. Focus on the focused. Stick with what Tim Miller teaches. The guy is making a million dollars a year. Here's one, one thing I say about tools. The day one of the people that are selling tools gets to crown diamond like this, I will buy the tool and I will promote it like crazy. I have not seen one person that sells tools have massive success like Tim Miller or Kelly Tolar or Jesse Garcia. When it makes sense, it makes sense, you guys. Like you, you just gotta, you just gotta, you know, use common sense. Uh, who are you following? The people that are struggling to get through the ranks, or are you following Tim Miller, Kelly, and Jesse? Those are the three people that I'm following. They're ahead of me, right? They're making more money than I am. They have more people than I do. They started before I did. They're having massive success. Whatever these three people do, it's a clue. When people have massive success, is a clue. Everything else is a distraction. Everything else is a complete joke, in my opinion. It's not going to take you where you want to go. It's like they say, don't take advice from people that don't have the lifestyle that you want. Okay? So anybody that makes you a recommendation, but they don't have the lifestyle that you want, don't follow. So what do I, what do I want from Live Good? I want to be like Tim, Kelly, and Jesse when I grow up. So who am I going to follow? What instructions am I going to, to, to follow? These three people. I'm always on their pages. I'm watching what they're doing. I'm liking their posts. I'm commenting on it. I, I'm watching any trainings that they are doing. Any, anything they do, I'm like, I need to pay attention. These guys know what they're doing. They're having massive success. Everybody else, they're struggling. So I'm not going to do what they're doing. So keep it simple. I think that was probably the first thing I said today. Number one, I think is it was don't make it complicated, right? Keep it simple. You just call people and you, you ask them if they've taken the free tour. You text people, you message people, whatever 
tool you're using to reach out to people. You ask them if they've taken the free tour. This is the most valuable membership we've ever had. We have to focus on products because this membership without a product is useless. Just like my Costco membership, my Prime membership, my Hulu, my Netflix. If I'm not watching movies every night, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel. So if people are canceling memberships, it's because they're not on the products. They have to get on these amazing products so that way, they're going to be on your membership for the rest of their lives. I've had Costco for 17 years. Like I said on the call yesterday, my health and wellness is more important to me than my shipping costs with Amazon. And I've had Amazon for 15 years. So if I've had Amazon for 15, Costco for 17, and this is my most precious one because I'm obsessed with the products. I take 12 to 13 products every single day. My husband is taking 14 to 15 products every single day. My son now is taking four products every single day. Do you think I'm ever going to let go of this membership? Do you think people on your team that are obsessed with the products are ever going to let go of the membership? No. So we need to start focusing on getting people hooked on these products. If they are hooked on products, they're not going anywhere. They're going to stay with us for life. So with that, I'm going to give it back to give this call back to Des here. And thank you guys. Thanks for having me. Uh, I love sharing. If you ever need anything, you know, you can reach out to me. I respond to everybody. If you've ever reached out to me, you know, I do. Even if, you know, I get people that reach out, they're like, I'm in this team and that team. I'm like, doesn't matter. If you need help, you let me know. So a lot of people reach out, but I love you guys. I'm grateful for you because without every single one of you, I wouldn't be here, right? None of us would be here. We need each other. This is uh, the most incredible family environment. I've been through so many companies full of mean girls. This has been the most loving, amazing, accepting group of people I've ever been a part of. And it feels so good to belong to something that's bigger than ourselves, right? Together, we are part of, of a movement. We're part of something amazing here. So Love you guys. I hope you have a blessed weekend. Thanks, Des, yeah. for inviting me. Oh, my God. You said enough. You said everything that I would have said here today. Um, you, you touched on so many great things. And um, guys, I hope you took copious notes. I'm just going to kind of recap a little on what she said. Just the, the again, number one, she started out. But first of all, before I even go there, I want y'all to put, drop the fire in the chat for Trish. Drop the fire. Did she, um, you know, she she really touched on some things. I I hope again, like I always tell people, you have to be humble so that you can really listen. Because if you are not a person that want to be humble, you'll never listen. You'll think that you know it all and you have it all and you know everything because you bring your those bad habits from other companies. And this is what I love about Live Good. Live Good is separate from the rest of the industry, which is one of the reasons why we said we want to fix the industry. We want to separate ourselves from what the industry looked like. And if we're trying to fix it, why are we trying to bring the same ideals back over to this company? You know, and Trish hit it with those different tools and stuff. Ben, I always say this, Ben has given us the tools to succeed. He wants us to succeed, so he gave us the tools. He didn't even charge you extra for it. He didn't, because I've been in companies where they charge you for landing pages. You had to pay an extra $20 just to have the landing page. You had to pay, hey, Zion, sorry. You have to pay all the extras just to have the extras just to get started. We have everything it takes. And as we can see, Tim Miller, we see, like she mentioned, all of the diamonds that are doing this business and they're doing it well. Follow the leaders. Just follow what they are doing. Duplicate what they are doing. I witness Trish Costa, you know, who follows every step of the way and she just, but she's relentless. You're not going to stop her. It doesn't matter what you say. Like she said, it's not going to get in her way. But she's very humble, guys. She's not cocky at all with this. She's very humble. She listens. And that's why she's getting to the top as fast as you want to be. No one is in competition. Okay? I call it the slow and steady pace. Just go slow and steady, but do something. Do not get it confused, guys, with movement. Movement, people get confused. They feel like, well, I'm doing something. Well, you may be running in place, but that don't mean you're progressing. So what I want you to understand is that 
You want to do something every single day. You have to get in rotation. I love when she said, again, don't complicate things. Ben gave it to us, gave us the tools. He gave us the landing page. He gave us the link. All you have to do is really share it. Share, share, share. You'll hear Tim Miller say it all the time. I hear him all the time because I'm closest to him. And that's all he told me. Just, just share the link, share the link. You don't have to tell me that. But he normally, I hear him say it to people on the phone all the time. But again, it's just basically if you share that link and ask those questions. Hey guys, are you already in Live Good yet? Have you already signed up in the Live Good? Um, um, have you ever got um have you gotten your membership yet with Live Good? No, what's Live Good? Of course, you may, you know, they may say that, but that's the questions you're going in with that kind of posture. Okay. You're you're asking people, hey, have you signed up with Live Good yet? What's Live Good? That's what you want to hear, right? Because that's when you want to be able to say, oh, you don't know what Live Good is? Well, let me share this link with you. And then I'm going to circle back with you and, and follow up with you and see what your thoughts were. Um, but again, that's basically not complicating things. Don't complicate things. Ben has given us the link. So all we got to do is get familiar with that money link. You'd be surprised how many people tell me, what's my link to? <laughs> what? That is your money right there, that link. Learn what that link is. Not ask me what that link is. You should know what that link is, okay? But if you don't, go back and get familiar with all the links back there in your back office. Uh, so again, don't complicate things. Don't get attached. Oh, I love when you said this, Trish. Don't get attached to the outcome. So what if they said no? That no does not have anything to do with your why. So I hope each and every one of you that's listened to the sound of my voice get into what is your why? What would make you cry? This little boy over here who's over here distracting me, trying to get my attention. That's my why. He's my biggest why. My grandkids, I have 13 grandkids, by the way, but they are my why. They are my drive for why I get out and do things that makes me uncomfortable. What makes me uncomfortable, guys, is when I get out there and do a live or a video. People be like, I don't, it don't look like you're afraid. Believe me, I am scared to death. I don't like those videos. I do not like doing them. I, but it's uncomfortable. So I got to make myself uncomfortable because guess what? She also says something that when I get to that part about uh, what was that book? I am going to read that book because I've never read that book. Uh, Max Out Your Life, you know, because I already heard those things about what if you laying in your hospital bed and all your ghosts are standing around you and they all mad because now they got to leave because they never got to fulfill what God has given you to do. But you were so afraid. You had the fear of life. Fear, guys, is false evidence appearing real. We, again, face the fears and just do it. That's what I've been doing. My, you know, so when I'm speaking to you guys, I'm also speaking to myself as well because I do have fears. People be like, does it don't look like you're afraid when you get up there and you talk to people on the phone or you do this? Believe me, we all got our fears. Because you know why? Because on the other side of the fear is, is really the reward. But we will never see the reward because we're so afraid. We're afraid. You know why we're afraid? Because it's that, that little, I call it the inner me. I call the inner me is your enemy sometimes. Because that inner me starts talking to you. And it tells you things that you you uh you you really don't want to believe it, but it's saying those people they they laughing at you or they looking at you or no one is doing any of that. You know who's doing that? It's you. You are your biggest enemy. You're the one that's telling yourself that other people are not even thinking that. And if they are, so what? So what? We don't care about that. That's the kind of stuff that you got to get past. You got to get past yourself and not compete with anybody else. So again. Let's go on to the next thing. Again, if somebody tells you no, we are not caring, like I said, about what their no's are because the no's have nothing to do with the outcome. But they are going to watch you because we're watching. We're watching. And like Trish said, the person called her up and said, hey, I've been watching you. She didn't even know this person was watching her. But guess what? Because she kept on going, regardless of what her other obstacles was, she still kept on going. And she never went out there trying to sell something else, which confuses the audience. Know, know your audience because your audience are watching. I know that people are watching me because here's how I can tell that people are watching me. I put stuff on Facebook. Now I can put something about live good or my business and it'd be crickets. But I can put out 
say happy birthday to this person. Oh, everybody and their mother comes out the woodworks. People from my old jobs and stuff like, and I'm like, wow, I didn't even know they were looking at this, uh, this, this thing. But guess what? They're watching. They're watching. Then when I go home and visit, sometimes they'll say to me, oh, yeah, Taz, I see you. Um, I see what you're doing out there. And I didn't even know you were seeing what I was doing out there because you never liked you never shared, you know, but they tell on yourself. So yes, people are watching you. So you want to be very, very careful on how you carry yourself out there. Okay. Uh, another thing she said, focus, focus on, uh, you know, on, uh, on the what ifs. I love when you said that Trish, because you know how many people, and I don't know. And I always ask this of to, to myself. Like, why do always people say this to me? What if I don't? What does, what if this don't happen? I know it can happen for you because you're used to this. But what if, and I'm like, why do you always say what if first that you can't? Why don't you say what if you can succeed? What if I am going to sell all of the products out? Or what if I'm going to do uh, the, the best job ever? Why, why do you always go to the negative? Well, what if I don't make no money? Well, what if you do? What if you do? Why don't we always? So that's the question that people should always ask. What makes the negative come first? Because you know why? The negatives are automatically, it goes into you because you're surrounded around negative. But positivity is something that has to be force fed into your mind. That's why you have to do the self-development. This is the next point that I bring up. Well, that was number five. So that not, not even get to self-development yet. Let's go to feelings. She talked about feelings, guys. And I hope you were writing this stuff down because I, I, I listen to all of the speakers and I take very copious notes. But also when I get off this call, I also look at these notes again and I expand on these notes for myself. And this is how it starts getting into you, okay? Because you can't be trash. You can't be Desiree, Tim, Jesse, and all the other uh, leaders that she may have mentioned on this call. You can't be them. You are your own unique person. So you have to get all of this information in you and let it become who you are, okay? So let's talk about the feelings. Get out of your own way. Get out of your own personal feelings. Again, if somebody is talking to you uh, on a business standpoint, you might not agree because this is how you used to do it in another way, in another business. Guess what, guys? This is live good. Just like if I, I, I worked at a job, I, I used to work at an insurance company, Blue Cross, um, and I was the manager there. OK, it didn't matter if somebody else came from Keystone or uh, what is the other company's name? Uh, another company like um, uh, I can't think of none, none of the names now. My mind just went blank. But anyway, if you come from another insurance company, you might come with the experience. OK, but you do not do it Blue Cross way. So you have to be trained this way. So the same thing with live good. You are I want you to forget about all the other bad habits and all the other things we were taught in network marketing. Again, some of the things we might come with our experience but leave the bad habits and some of the other ideologies that once was put into us, you can leave them at the door because uh, Ben has made it where, and not just Ben guys, his, his other partners as well, but they made it where they uh, where uh, simplified, it's very simple for us to achieve our results in this company. Okay, so again, don't complicate it. And again, you wanna uh, do not um, get out your feelings, about this is the way we used to do it and this is the way we're going to continue to do it. Okay, well, I'm not going to tell you not to do it that way, but what I would say is don't distract others to do it that way because live good is simplified and we have we really want people to get this and understand that this is an ease of entry, it's a quickness of pay, a back-end solid residual income. We do not have to pull out any other monies out of our pockets to be successful in this business. I'm really serious about that. I, I've made platinum without using any other tools. Simply, I just followed the simple system and that was sharing the actual uh, link. I literally had to talk to a lot of people in terms of my warm market. That's who I basically, I really, I, I, I actually talk to all my warm market right now. You have a lot of people in your warm market. That's why you really don't have to spend a lot of money in 
any, um, you don't have to take no money out of your pocket to spend on tools because you have a lot of people in your war market that you do not need the tools for. I'm serious. When you start, it's, you know, maybe uh, making some money with the company. And if you want to explore something else, then fine, do whatever it takes. But I do not encourage you, especially to interrupt your team, to do any of those extra and above things, but what Live Good is instructing you to do. Um, also, she talked about the miracle morning routine. Guys, develop yourself a routine. It may not be dancing with your dog. I don't have a dog, Trisha. I can't dance with my dog. But I love it that she said that. But she does this all the time. She says this all the time. She gets up and she dances with her dog. I think that's so cute. And then she... She, she's a fun person if y'all know her. If you get to know her, she really is. I can only imagine. I really wish she lived around the corner because I would come around here and join her. But um, I love Trish because Trish is somebody that, um, she, she speaks the same language that I speak. And that's why I think we get along so well because she, she really loves Live Good and we really want to see as so many people succeed. And anything that we know we want to give and we want to share it with you guys, we don't want to charge you to, to share any of our knowledge. If we learn something new, guess what? If we know something that's working, we're going to share it with you. We're going to give it to you. Um, so that's what I love. Get yourself a routine. I know I just developed a routine and I'm making myself stick to that routine. Um, again, when you stick to your routine, it makes you get uncomfortable with yourself. Like I was comfortable with staying in the bed at 10 o'clock, you know, because I want, I chose to sleep longer because I do stay up late. I stay up when a lot of people are sleeping four o'clock in the morning. I might be still up and I'm working and I'm doing things that other people are, they may be sleeping. But even though I may stay up to four in the morning, I still know that I got to get up early in the morning because that's part of the routine that I have to do for myself. Again, everybody develop your own routine of what that might what that might look like. I don't know, but become uncomfortable. And once that becomes uncomfortable, when you start seeing that it becomes comfortable, that's great. Now you've made that a habit and now you move to the next thing of making yourself uncomfortable doing something else. So mine was getting up in the morning. I'm walking every morning. I'm walking every single morning and that's making me uncomfortable because I don't like to get up, but I'm now making myself uncomfortable with doing it. And I do it every single morning now. And um, again, it's starting to become comfortable. And again, now the next thing is I move on to a new exercise along with still walking. Okay. So that's how you start, but get yourself into a routine. Uh, she states, she talked about affirmations, talk, self-talk guys. You got to talk to yourself. Keep talking to yourself, talk to yourself. Uh, the self-development books, Get those, uh, you know, whatever that might be. My car has turned into a university. I listen to every time I get in the car, there's no music playing. There's always some type of motivation playing. So that means everybody that's in the car is subjected to hearing that's, that, that motivation. My, my grandson, my kids, my grandkids, guess what? They can put their earphones on. I don't care, but they're going to, my car, that's what you're going to hear in my car is uh, any type of motivation. Um, I love the books that she mentioned. I will definitely make sure I add some of those. I, I'm very familiar with The Secret of the Millionaire Mind. I'm reading a book right now, The, the, the Mind of the Millionaire. Um, then you're, um, there was another one she mentioned about Relentless, six, uh, six Months to Six Figures. Then she mentioned Relentless, Six Habits of Growth, uh, Max Out Your Life. I want to definitely get that one. I want to read that one. So that was uh, uh, something that she talked about. And then we talked about what else? Uh, oh, I love it. We're going to hold you to it, uh, to that one. Your ideas of going triple diamond, triple diamond. I love it. That's the first that I heard it. But guess what? She know what she did. Do y'all know what she did? She actually gave you her, her goal. She put a deadline. So not only did she just make it a dream, she actually put a deadline to it. So now that's going to become a reality. Okay. And what else did she do? She announced it out to the world. So don't ever be afraid to announce what your goal is and you announce it out to you to the world. Okay. And the reason why she announced it out to the world, because guess what? Well, let's just say you guys are a part of the same team. So you guys are somebody that we, we are on the same page because sometimes you do have to watch who you give your dreams and your goals to because their dream still is out there 
And there are people who would like to abort that dream that God may have given you that vision. So sometimes you do have to watch who you are, you know, putting that, that goal and that dream out there too. But because we are all like minds and we all want to see Trish succeed. So we are going to hold her accountable. I know I am. Okay. I'm looking forward to June 30th to be her being a triple diamond. Now, let's say it doesn't happen on June 30th. It's all good. But I guarantee you, she's going to be halfway to that mark because she set the deadline. She set the goal. And it's always okay to move that deadline up. But as long as she knows she has something to work towards to get there. Okay? So with that, she said number six was don't allow no one. Oh, and I love that because we are good for this one. Letting other people change our opinion because of what they're doing. Okay, that might be their path. That might be their journey. That might be working for them. But that does not mean that has to be your journey and your path. Do not change what you are already doing. If it's working for you, let it work for you. If you need to tweak some things, fine, tweak it. But again, if somebody says, uh, oh, well, I'm quitting the business because this ain't working for me. Okay, does that mean you follow? You know, no. You be your own person and also take accountability for yourself. You whatever happens in this business is not your sponsor's fault. It is your your fault. Take accountability and responsibility. I learned that a long time from one of my mentors. They said, "You know what? The day that a person learns to take accountability and responsibility for themselves is the day you grow." But when you start blaming everybody else, and pointing the fingers, you're never growing because you're always blaming somebody else. It's not working because of who? It's not working because of you. So you got to figure out what it is that you're doing and that you need to get back on track. But it's not uh, no one else's fault, okay? We got to work on ourselves. So spend more time with really working on yourself. Um, and with that, yes. um, I yes. can I say something really quick that I, I wanted to Girl, say at the please. very beginning? I, and because by I, by all means, come on in. Because yeah. I, don't take know what note. I didn't, oh. I just wanted to bring up you guys, um, the Vegas event. Okay. One thing I learned with Jeff Olson, the author of the Slight Edge book, is that if you oh, want to have back. success in these businesses, you have got to show up for live events. So do whatever it takes. I remember in Miriam, I mean, people would like pack up peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and drive 20 hours to get to an event because they knew that if they showed up to the event and the more people you brought in to the event with you, the more success you would have that following year. So it's the first event. Like we want to give you a hug. We want to meet as many people as we possibly can at these events. If you're overseas, I get it. It's a different story. But if you are in the U.S. or Canada or even Mexico, you should definitely be at the event. It's just uh, livegoodvegas.com. Livegoodvegas.com. Uh, get your tickets. Let us know you're coming. You know, we really want to just the energy in person is different. So Des, last night we were texting back and forth and she's like, Vegas just can't come fast enough. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to hang out, give you a hug. And really, these events are not even about the event. It's yeah. about the party after the party. You know, it's the the event after the event is, you know, in Palm Springs. I mean, Palm Springs, the event was great and the training was amazing. But what was really awesome was the dinner that we all had together after the event. Uh, the best part of Palm Springs for me was actually on Sunday when we went into town. Uh, you know, Kelly and Jesse and Tim were like in these convert uh, in a, uh, I think it was like a Mustang convertible. And, you know, with the music blasting, we're like, like right next to them on the main street there. And we went for ice cream and shopping and, you know, getting to know these people. And, and that's what Vegas is all about for me. You know, we have the white party on Friday night. You definitely want to make sure you're there. And then Saturday is the event, which is awesome. But then we're going to have another get together party on Saturday night, Sunday, whoever is still there, let's have breakfast together. Let's hang out. Let's get to know each other. Uh, yeah, I can't wait. I get, I live for that stuff. Like, I, that's my number one reason for, for loving live good is the community and all the friendships and, and all the love from the, the live good family. So sorry. Okay. I just, I had to say that I was going through the notes here and I'm like, oh, Kelly just 
put the link here for everybody. And I need to make sure I mention because, you know, I mean, this event is I, I'm so ready for it. I can't wait to see everyone. Can't wait to see Kelly again and, and Des and, you know, go dancing. And if Kelly's coming, there's going to be some serious dancing, yeah. dancing shoes. I know. Shout yeah. out to Kelly. That that vid, uh, that that last post that you put out, oh my god, it, it inspired me so much. I said I can't wait to get to Vegas. Which post? What, what was that? The post um where she oh. dancing with it takes two to make a thing go right. Oh yeah, you know I love I, that. About that, I want to challenge everybody to turn on some music and make a little video and then just go with it. Let me tell you what a confidence booster that was. Now, now I can walk out on stage with a uh, 10, 20, 30,000 people and I'll just be like, woohoo. But you know, <laughs> it's okay. I, it's that, that uh, I don't have that fear. I'm just saying. Um, but if you want a confidence booster, uh, yeah, yeah. Play your favorite song and just make a little video. And you know what? Don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right. I, you didn't. And, and you was getting it in, girl. I said, Wow, my hair, was, my hair was a mess. I'm moving right now. I don't think I've showered in a couple of days. I'm just—it's <laughs> all know. good. I can't even find my hairbrush. It's packed in a box. I'm just saying. I got a little bar of soap. I'll take a shower today. But so anyhow, yeah. Uh, yeah, just make a video dancing around. Let me tell you, it's crazy. Uh, you could I mean, I'll just say, just just make it. Just do it. Just do it. And don't worry about what somebody's going to say. And, and you know what? And then like in the comment section, you say, hey, by the way, why am I so happy? <laughs> Boom. Here's my live good link. <laughs> That's a good one. That's good. Wow. Trina, you did an awesome job with the training today. Yes, and you Ray, your note taking. Wow. Wow. So we got like double, double dose. And uh, man, the goal set everyone, you know, hey, if, if bronze is your goal, you can knock that out this weekend. Just go get excited, fired up, uh, you know, just tell folks. And um, I've got to meet with the four movers tomorrow afternoon. They're all getting signed up with Live Good, literally amazing. They saw the products when I was unboxing there in the kitchen. What? They said, that's what's on your shirt. And I said, yeah, these products, that's what's on your shirt. Hey. You know what? Buy a shirt. You need to get, you buy a shirt. Your shirt is a conversational tool. Oh, yes. It is because I've had so many people say, man, I want to live good. Or man, yeah, that's a way to be. You know, look at your shirt and you go, that's right. I said, and then the first thing I'll do is I'll say, this company is going all over the world and you can help them too. You know, and and, and they'll help you. I'm just saying, you know, it's just a, a way to, it's an icebreaker. These shirts are icebreakers. Get one. They really I, are, Kelly. I agree. I agree. I don't go. This is part of my uniform, guys. You, I, I actually, um, by mistake, clicked on the uh, quantity button, um, and and it was like um six shirts came, but it was it must have been meant for me to have these six shirts, right? But I couldn't believe. I was like, oh, you can't undo it, right? Once the ship is ordered, it's ordered. So I said, you know what? This is my uniform. This is really my uniform. So these shirts are really an icebreaker because everywhere I go, and you are so right, because when I go to the airport, you know, you get guys that say, yeah, I want to do I said, well, I'm glad you do. And here, and you know, and I can share my link. And I have this uh, app called uh, Blink. And um and it actually gives my uh my information on it. So now they can just scan the, the QR code. Um, and then I just you know let them scan that and then that way they have my every all my information from that uh, app. Oh, that is awesome. And you know what? Um make me think of the QR code and the shirt idea. Everybody get it. Uh, uh, we'll get the uh, I'll let them mute out. Thank you so much. Okay. Yeah. And when I go back to my old place, I'm in position, you know, moving the new place, the old place got clean. And I've got four ladies at my old place cleaning, cleaning today. Guess what? They're going to see live good today. <laughs> and they're going to be, they're, they're going to love that tip I give them too. <laughs> you know, they're going to be like, what do you do? I'm, you know what? I'm going to hand them a tip with my business card every and that's what i'm gonna make sure i do that every single time everywhere i go 
even at a restaurant. Always leave your business card, leave your website everywhere you go. Yep, yep. It's sowing a seed. You never know. You get pass a business card, just, you know, whatever. A restaurant, whoever you're working with, uh, even the Starbucks drive through Be passing out those, bi- get business cards. You can get a cheap box at Vistaprint, just your website, right? And uh, yeah, you never know. You never know. Man, this call's awesome today, and Trisha and Desiree. Wow, y'all keep y'all keep the the uh, home fires burning, and I'm so excited. Everybody, do what you can to get to Vegas. The events we got a Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas event on March. Is that March 9th? Am I saying it correct? Uh, March 9th. Boom. Let me double check. March 9th on Saturday. So uh, we've got it posted in multiple places. There might be a few seats left for dinner. Um, you know, just reach out. It's in the Grapevine area of Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. We've maxed it out. There's over, I mean, it's going to be a full, a full dinner. Going to be fun. And then we're going to go dancing. Anywhere I go, we've got to find somewhere. It's the after party, right, Desiree? It's the at and Trisha. It's the after party that you have some fun. That's where the real meeting is. Yep, your cheeks are hurting and your feet are going to be hurting too because we're going to go have some fun. And sometimes yeah. you, you just got to let your hair down. Yes, that's me. If it's a, you know, I, I'm about fun. If it ain't fun, I always say I got to run. <laughs> it's got to be fun with it. <laughs> got to find the joy in everything that you do. And um, I, I love, like I said, like Trish even mentioned earlier, you know, this is one of the, the things that we love about networking is yeah. about is the social net, you know, aspect of it. Wow. We, we actually, I've, I've, you know, have so many friends um, based on the fact that it was through network marketing and yes. they became lifetime friends. Wow. Yes. Friends. Hey, and speaking of friends, um, our friend Jesse Garcia wants to share his screen. Uh, live good diamond number three is probably something fun that he's going to share. Uh, uh, got it where's he at i don't see jesse type in jesse hey everyone no happy Saturday. i just wanted to share the uh the event banner awesome which one <laughs> you've been making so many right the dallas one and then the uh vegas one but it's wow. all good jesse's gonna be making a miami one here soon <laughs> That's another thing. Shout out to Jesse for that. Too. Who wants to go to Miami? He always does the banners. He does all the great banners, y'all. Give it up for Jesse for that one, too. Uh, we're organ- organizing a dinner or something in Miami. It's before. It's going to be before Vegas. So if you're nearby, I don't know. We don't know yet. So don't, don't run and ask yet. Sorry. I let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Jesse sharing. Oh yeah, I couldn't share, but uh, yeah, next time. Is it the Vegas banner that you were trying to share? Oh. Yeah, and the, the Dallas one. Oh, okay. I think if you go to the share settings, you can put uh, allow participants to share, and that's how I can share. There's there's events all over the world. Yes. All over the world. Reason. Kelly, can you do that share or I don't see. Let's see. No. I think because you gotta be co-host to share, I think. So I sorry, I gotta hop off here and go pay my cleaners. <laughs> okay. Every- Thank you so much to Kelly for sharing. Everybody, do you have that link? The last someone, asked about, someone asked about kids in Vegas. I don't know. Everywhere I go, I see signs. Not allowed under 21. Not allowed under 21. It's just, it's going to be your personal call to bring kids. Um, I mean, I'm just saying they, they can, you know, be in the hotel casino with you, but you'll be very limited on the areas that you can go, you know, uh, with kids. I'm just saying, but use your own judgment on that. Are you trying to give Jesse the the co-host? Hey y'all, love y'all. I gotta go pay my pay my cleaners. Bye, Kelly. Let me check. Bye. Bye. Howdy. Yeah, if you go to where the button share screen is, there's like a little arrow that opens up the settings. 
Okay. And then in the in there, you could click allow participants to share screen. Okay. I see the way it says share screen, but if I share screen, it's just going to share. Okay. You see that? Like right next to it, there's like a little arrow, tiny little arrow opens up the settings. I think I was able to do it, Jesse. If you see if you can do it now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Here we go. I mean, you, I mean, anyone can bring kids to, to, you know, any event, but in Vegas, obviously, if you're, if you're planning a party, you know, that, you know, go gamble, those are the places you might have, you know, some issues with bringing them, but yeah, you can, you can probably most likely, you know, have them come to, uh, to stay with you. Uh, I don't know about the VIP party, which is Friday night. I don't think that, that little kids will be there. Adult kids, maybe, I don't know, 18 and up. The event, the actual event, um, most likely you can have them there at the actual, you know, event. Um, but I'm talking about like the parties, the after, the gatherings, you know, where, where maybe there might be casinos involved, right? Or even like places, certain places. So, yeah, those are things you might want to plan ahead if you're bringing kids that they can have you know, that you can have them somewhere else or someone else watch them or, or if you're not planning to go to certain areas that then obviously that could be with you. That's, that's how I see it. But, um, but yeah, last, I went to Vegas, uh, that one time with, you know, for one day and when my, my first time going there. So, um, you know, from what I understand, Vegas is becoming more of an entertaining city and not so much sin city. So, they're changing the vibe there. So I guess I missed out on the on that that atmosphere, right? What happens is the the, the guy with the Uber guy's like, what happens in 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 Vegas doesn't stay here anymore. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay. So it's, Vegas changed. It's changing. That's why they had the Super Bowl there now. You know, they didn't have that before. All right. So but this is Dallas. This is the the you know where it's gonna be at. And I think there's still like a few spots left available for the actual uh, restaurant meeting. But of course, after that, we can still meet up after that somewhere else. Or um, there's no max, uh, you know, to how many people can come meet us on that day. And then the next event is uh, this big one. So hopefully everyone can go. And, um, and we are looking maybe to uh, still like a, maybe 80, 80, 90 percent chance that I will have um, something going on in Miami with some Spanish team members. Um, but, you know, we can also have something the same day or the next day for anyone that would like to meet up uh, for, you know, for something like like what we're doing in Dallas. OK, so if you're in Florida area, um, that would be cool, uh, most likely mid-March. OK. So that's all. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Jesse, for that sharing and jumping right in. That's what we we appreciate you guys so much. Um, I know Je uh, Kelly had to drop off, but I want to say again, guys, thank you so much for um, you know joining us this Saturday. Again, we're always here every Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and with that, we're going to close. And we want to, again, put some fire in the chats for Trish, our speaker, and I encourage her to continue to go on and be the best that she can be and reach her goals. And I'm also, you know, pray for each and every one of you that's on this call, um, hearing the sound of my voice, that you're, you go out and do all that you can. And like we said, get out your own way and um, don't let the little inner voice, which I consider the enemy, because sometimes that little... In that inner voice is saying, you can't all, oh, they're not going to, they're going to, they're going to laugh at you. They're, they're looking at you and no one is doing any of that issue get in your own way. So with that guys, um, I want to uh, close this call out and you guys, I'm going to open up the calls and you can um, put the fire, everybody put that fire in the chat for, for Trish and just say thank you to her for coming out. And we will look forward to uh, next Saturday hearing from somebody else for on the call and pray for uh, Tim. Tim, Tim can hear you as well because he's on this call, but believe it or not, he's listening. So pray for him. Um, pray for Tim. Get him checked pray today. For you, Nonami. Nonami. 
All right. Bye, everybody. Love y'all. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. 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 Bye, gu